Calculate the following problems and write the answer in scientific notation. For a, 3 times 10 to the negative second times 3.2 times 10 to the sixth. To multiply two numbers in scientific notation, we multiply the whole numbers individually and then multiply the base 10 exponents individually. That is, we have 3 times 3.2 times 10 to the negative second times 10 to the sixth. And since 3 times 3.2 gives us 9.6, and when multiplying values with exponents, we multiply the base and keep the same base and add the exponents. In this case, we would have times 10 to the negative 2 plus 6, which is equal to 9.6 times 10 to the 4th. And since 9.6 is a number between 1 and 10, this value is in scientific notation. Therefore, 3 times 10 to the negative second times 3.2 times 10 to the sixth is equal to 9.6 times 10 to the fourth. For b, 6 times 10 to the negative 1 times 2.51 times 10 to the fifth. Again, we begin by multiplying the whole numbers individually. That is, 6 times 2.51 times, and now we multiply the base 10 exponents individually. That is 10 to the negative 1 times 10 to the fifth. And 6 times 2.51 is equal to 15.06 times, and we rewrite the base 10 exponents with the same base, and add the exponents, that is 10 to the negative 1 plus 5, which gives us 15.06 times 10 to the 4th. But we're not finished. Since the whole number in front, 15.06, is a number greater than 10. So we need to write this number individually in scientific notation. And to do that, we move the decimal point one place to the left to obtain 1.506 times 10 to the 1. Recall, moving the decimal place from to, to the left gives us a positive exponent. So 15.06 is 1.506 times 10 to the first in scientific notation. But we still have this base 10 exponent of 4, which means we have to multiply 10 to the first times 10 to the fourth, which gives us 1.506 times 10 we keep the same base and add exponents, 1 plus 4, which gives us 1.506 times 10 to the 5th, which is now in scientific notation. Therefore, 6 times 10 to the negative 1 times 2.51 times 10 to the 5th is equal to 1.506 times 10 to the 5th. For c, 1.8 times 10 to the 6th divided by 9 times 10 to the negative 3rd. To divide numbers in scientific notation, similar to multiplying them, we divide the whole numbers individually and then divide the base 10 exponents individually. That is, this is equal to 1.8 divided by 9 times 10 to the 6 divided by 10 to the negative third. Well, 
1.8 divided by 9 gives us 0.2 times and to divide base 10 exponents we keep, we keep the same base and subtract the exponents that is 6 minus negative 3 which is equal to 0.2 times 10 to the 6 plus 3 if we use the rules for subtracting sign numbers which gives us 0.2 times 10 to the 9th however 0.2 is not greater than 1 so we need to write 0.2 individually into scientific notation and to do that we move the decimal point one place to the right to obtain 2 times 10 and since we move the decimal point to the right the exponent becomes negative and since we move the decimal place one place the exponent is 1 now we have to take care of the base 10 9 exponent that is times 10 to the 9th which gives us 2 times 10 to the negative 1 plus 8 because we add exponents when multiplying the same bases which is equal to 2 times 10 to the 8th. Therefore, 1.8 times 10 to the 6th divided by 9 times 10 to the negative 3rd is equal to 2 times 10 to the 8th. 4D, 3.28 times 10 to the 4th divided by 8 times 10 to the 7th. We begin by dividing the whole number parts of the scientific notation. That is, 3.28 divided by 8 times 10 to the 4th divided by 10 to the 7th. And we see that 3.28 divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.41 times 10, we keep the same base, raised to the 4 minus 7. We subtract exponents when dividing, which gives us 0 0.41 times 10 to the negative third. Now, our whole number in front is not between 1 and 10. Therefore, the entire number is not in scientific notation. So we write 0 0.41 in scientific notation. And to do that, we move the decimal point one place to the right to obtain 4.1 times 10. And since we move the decimal point one place, we put 1. And since we move the decimal to the right, the exponent will be negative. Now we take care of the base 10 negative th third exponent. That is times 10 to the negative third, which gives us 4.1 times 10 to the negative 1 plus negative 3, which gives us 4.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. Therefore, 3.28 times 10 to the fourth divided by 8 times 10 to the 7th is equal to 4.1 times 10 to the negative 4th.